All right, we are going to color two pages in your book, adjacent, left and right. First thing you need to do is get colored laminated paper from this table here, and it should match up with your table color and your art journal. You want to make sure that art journal is nice and flat. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to get your table colors paint. And let's see if last hour put these away correctly. They did not. You will. Your entire table will have a think sheet if you do not put these back correctly. See that on the side? Red table is getting a think sheet tomorrow. So, on this side, it's two blue, and they need to be upright, not sideways. Two yellow. Hopefully there's yellow somewhere else. Yep, there sure is. Two red. This red goes over here. On this side, two green, one black. There's the black. Here's my green. Should be orange and white. And here, two orange, one white. And this should be, and they had three orange. And this should be one silver and two violets. So this table is not quite correct. All right, we're going to use analogous colors. So on the color wheel up here, analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. Wheel. Here is a diagram of analogous colors. The only colors next to each other, next to each other that are not analogous colors, you would never use yellow, orange, and yellow green together because yellow orange is warm and yellow green is cool and they do not blend well together. So you're going to take your two pieces, oh, and your paintbrushes. Remember to make sure that your paintbrushes are cleaned out. So you're going to get your color-coded container of paintbrushes. Make sure that there are none missing. If there's one missing, it is your entire table's responsibility. If there's any paint left in a brush, the entire table will have a think sheet. You need to make sure you keep an eye out for each other. Take care of materials. All right, so then I'm going to take my two pieces. Whoops, Lou. And take my two pieces here and put them under the pages that I'm going to paint because I do not want that to drip down. And I'm going to use analogous colors, blue and violet. And where they mix, I'm going to have blue violet. So then I'm going to get two paint brushes out and I'm going to put it on fairly thick. Put a couple of blobs of violet on one side. And I'm not going to mix the colors in here. Do not mix these. These aren't yours to keep, so you have to make sure that they're, they're good for the next class. I'll lay my paintbrush across the top there. Let me get a little bit more of that paint off. Make sure you clean your tables when you're done. Then I'm going to go all the way to the edge with this. And it could be, if you can still see a little bit of the paper through it, that's, or the text through it, it's not a big deal. And then I'm going to start blending in. So in the middle, I have the secondary color, or the intermediate color rather. So violet is a secondary, blue is primary, and where they mix in the middle, that will be my blue violet. And then the left hand side will be blue. You could do it more on a diagonal if you want. If you want that blue violet to go more on a diagonal like this, you can do that. And then you're going to find your cubby. Wait, first we're going to take these two. We're going to put them on the drying rack. Put it in the middle there so it doesn't fall down. Then I'm going to take my paper, my art journal, and this one is Kamaya's. So I'm going to find my space over here. Don't know that Kamaya has one, so we're going to give her number three. I'll write her name in number three. Nope, there's somebody in number three. Um, number four. Kamaya's number four. So then I'm going to slide it in here. Make sure my pages aren't touching the top. Make sure they're not closing. And then I'm going to rinse out my brushes. Make sure that your paints are put away correctly. And those go up here. And that's it.